take a deep inhale in and exhale out. Another deep inhale and with each breath in, notice a light floating and drifting sensation. And as you exhale out, Feel and allow the tightness and any dark areas as they begin to release from your body. Just give them permission to allow this release from your body and mind. Unwinding in serenity wraps over you. As your worries melt away to a space more peaceful, more serene, giving yourself this time now together to open your mind and loosen your body into a deep relaxation. Here, you do not need to judge or overthink what is happening. Just simply let go. Together, we will create a safe and secure state of calmness for your body. And your body will release feeling limp and loose. And any thoughts that may be circling around in your mind. You can just visualize or imagine yourself blowing those away. You can just imagine yourself pushing those away off into the universe. You can think those thoughts later, but now you've committed this time for yourself You've committed this time for your deep relaxation and calm. Going deeper. I want you to count backwards from 33 to zero. And each time you hear the bell, see the number in your mind disappear. Maybe it falls away into your imagination. Maybe you visualize the number breaking into tiny bits of white light. Or possibly imagine it slowly fade. Maybe you'll do a combination or come up with your own imagination. Ready to begin. 33. 33. A feeling of calm and comfort. 32. 31. You may notice a tendency to start to let go. 30. 29. You are in control of how deep you want to go. 28. 27. The deeper you go, the more calm and relaxed you will become. 26. 25. This feeling of relaxation. 24, 
you may notice a tendency to start releasing deeper. 23. Again, releasing deeply. 22. Now you decide if you will allow your body to go even deeper. 21. Free at this moment. 20. You may notice a tendency to just want to let go. 19. If you'd like, you can go even deeper now. 17. Unwinding. 16. Fifteen. Serenity. Fourteen. How much will you allow yourself to let go? Let go. Thirteen. You may feel like you are not entering hypnosis, but the more you feel this, the deeper you are actually going. 12. Eleven. Contentment for the here and now. This present moment of ours together. 10. Untying the tension held and untangling the knots through deep relaxation. 9. Untwisting your muscles. Eight. Allow yourself to go even deeper. Seven. Melting any stressors and tension. Six. Five. Are you comfortable? Four. Feelings of floating and drifting away. Three, body becomes limp and loose. Two, is your body feeling light or heavy? I'll let you decide. One, safe and secure. Now feeling this deep state of relaxation, you can double this feeling if you'd like on zero, deep sleep. Eight, 
and each time deep sleep is suggested by me for the purpose of hypnosis for our session together you enter a deep relaxation of calmness quickly to this depth or even deeper and your physical body is comfortably relaxed and the mind is always in control releasing and open to positive suggestions breathe slowly and deeply perfect you are now deeply relaxed and the suggestions that you hear will have an immediate and permanent effect on your subconscious mind you will hear every word that I speak even though you may find yourself wandering away at times because right now nothing else matters nothing except for this feeling of deep relaxation and calmness that you are experiencing and as you go deeper into this gentle hypnotic rest your mind is open and receptive to the ideas that flow from your all-knowing powerful subconsciousness and awareness Friendships have a huge impact on your health and happiness. Good friends relieve stress, provide comfort and joy. But close friends don't just happen. You know that meeting people is an important part of our existence. We evolved to depend on others. This includes relationships, which isn't easy for some but so important to prevent loneliness and isolation and even strengthen your physical and emotional health. I'm going to be talking to you about a matter that's been bothering you for some time and that is your confidence in meeting new people. Does the idea of going up and introducing yourself make you feel ill? Can you physically feel it in your body? Does the idea of walking up to a stranger seem humiliating to you? Do you know that you are not the only person who feels this uncomfortable? The other person you want to meet might just have the same feelings you do. Or perhaps they are even shyer than you. This powerful hypnotic session is going to help you to put all that shyness into the past it will also help you to know that when you do walk up to someone, you will be positively shining and so full of confidence that you will wonder why you ever let this bother you in the first place. Let's face it, you really do deserve this confidence and positivity because you are already a great person, full of enthusiasm and you are taking the steps to improve yourself right now. This proves that you have the drive and ambition and even much more than that. You have the ability to brighten someone's day and succeed you will with the help of your wonderful subconscious mind and a little hypnosis. Sometimes People want to meet other people if only to pass the time, while others have an interest or want to unite in a friendship. Either way, why not practice every opportunity you get? It can also be fun, 
if you allow it to be so, which is why you are determined to make the best of this opportunity and to make the most of your opportunity. You need only to remember a few basic tips, which will help your part in approaching a stranger for conversation successfully. And remembering these tips will be so easy to you because all that you need to know is built into the image of your self-confidence. So, let's get started. The first and most important thing to remember is your smile. That's right, your smile is the best icebreaker there is. It draws people in. It also lets them know that you mean no harm, that you mean only joy. Now, you're going to practice your smile in front of a mirror. I know it's a little awkward, and faking it is okay. Visualize or imagine a mirror. Can you see your smile? And don't worry, no one likes their smile. However, other people will appreciate it. Trust me. And you can practice the smile throughout the day whenever you get a glimpse of yourself in a mirror. Another way to practice your smile is smile as you walk down the street. Don't worry if people think you're strange. Just let that make you smile even more. Did you know that smiling will actually make you less nervous? Now, practicing your smile in day-to-day -day living is so important and so easy. You can do it while you're dining, in stores, of course on the streets like we've already talked about. How about ordering food or sitting in a restaurant? You already have something in common with these people, the desire to be liked and feel happiness. Through your smile, share your positive light, perhaps even making new friends. Practice the fundamentals of your speaking technique to your waitresses and baristas. Ask them how their day is going. Practice joking around. Remember, they're getting paid to be nice to you. Now, there's fundamentals in speaking techniques, and you can practice these everywhere, ordering food or just sitting at a restaurant. And mirror talking. Yes, practice everything I'm about to tell you in front of a mirror. The next is small talk. It is extremely useful when you're meeting people for the first time. And remember, first impressions really do count. So the small talk can be about general situations such as the weather, sports, or traffic, or commenting on how much you're enjoying this experience of the atmosphere you're in together. Eye contact. Keep your wandering eyes focused on the person you're talking to without staring. Don't get distracted by other things happening in the room or atmosphere. This shows you are uninterested in what they're saying. Eye contact is important. Next is timing. Now, obviously you can't just walk off if somebody is in the middle of a conversation with you. But if they're monopolizing your time, you can wait for a subtle pause in their conversation before making your excuse to leave. Also, know when to exit a conversation. Say what you want to say, but don't overstay. Move on. It's okay. This next one is very important. And as you feel your body becoming even more calm and relaxed, let's talk now about posture, and body language. Stand like you are a strong tree. No slouching. Don't talk about how tired you are or say anything negative. This will actually start to reflect in your body. Keep your posture nice and strong. Now, don't get too close. Remember to always respect personal space. If you have any kind of nervous tics about you, control those for preparing for them. For example, if you twirl your hair, wear your hair back. Tricks like that to keep your habit undercover in a public event or a public place. Just 
prepare for your nervous tics. And this one, I hope you're feeling relaxed because this next one is feel calm and relaxed. Yes, relax even deeper. Take a few moments to calm your body and quiet your mind. Maybe listen to a relaxing session with me before you head out the door. Remember, this isn't intended to be dreaded. It's only meeting people. Practice makes perfect. So all you need to do here is to practice your story. Your story will come easily to you because this is a short story about you. Starting first with your name. Perhaps one or two personal details if you wish, and then a little bit about what you do. Having this practiced, it will come out of your mouth seamlessly, easily, and effortlessly. Again, practice makes perfect. Now, imagine or visualize yourself in front of a mirror, practicing. What is your name you'd like to be addressed by? What interesting things will you say about yourself? Now, in conversation and curiosity, keep your conversations light and be curious about what the other person says. Please ask them non-personal questions about themselves. Remember, most people love talking about themselves. However, you have two eyes and one mouth. Use them proportionately. Your goal here is to do more listening than talking. This next one should never be overlooked and it's personal hygiene. Please be mindful about mouth cleanliness. Have clean clothes. Just show yourself as clean attire. It's the small details that represent you. Simple things like making sure to floss and to keep your breath clean if needed, carry around breath mints. The next one is your handshake. Practice, practice makes perfect. Again, know how to shake someone's hand properly. You can practice this with a friend. Now, this next point, we're gonna talk about alcohol. Yes, alcohol is an easy way to make yourself more confident, but better to not have another shot of courage. If you feel a glass of wine is required to get you started, fine. But if two or three are necessary, you should refrain. Just not drinking at this time. Leave yourself open to the flow and new possibilities. Sometimes, drinking and social events go hand in hand. Just practice control and let your wisdom do the talking. Drinking heavily alters your personality. Have you noticed? Well, not you, of course, but other people, right? Other people who drink too much usually find themselves repeating themselves, finding unfunny jokes hilarious, or maybe becoming too touchy, or rambling on and on. And those that don't do those things, that don't drink, those are the people you need to attract yourself to. And now, confidence. The confidence and enthusiasm that you project as you talk will surely draw them in. The confidence that you project in your body language and your posture, you're gonna attract people, you'll find this, so make sure that you have everything prepared. Now that we've covered these conversational points, I'd like you to come with me on a journey within the realms of your subconscious mind and imagine that you have just entered the door to a coffee shop. It can be one that you've been to before or maybe it's an imagined one. Take a deep breath as you prepare to enter a coffee shop. So you walk through the door to this coffee shop. Maybe you can hear the bell when you enter. You order your drink as you do. You make an effort to smile and joke with the barista. You make her laugh and stand to wait for your drink. And as you stand tall, 
shoulders back, being mindful of your posture. You observe yourself as having a great look. Your appearance is clean and tidy, and your breath is fresh. Take a deep breath in and feel your confidence that you have manufactured. You have also practiced your story until you know it by heart and you don't worry about remembering it because you know that it is already ingrained in your subconscious mind. Your drink is ready and you grab it. There's a person sitting in a chair alone and there is something interesting about this person. Go now and introduce yourself. You start to converse and you notice how freely it just flows, just as perfectly as you expected it to. And you can see this person watching you with interest and curiosity in their eyes. And this spurs you on to talk confidently maybe even injecting some humor into your conversation. You simply relax and let go and allow yourself to listen as this person talks about themselves. You are smiling a lot and your body language is open and friendly so that this person feels comfortable. They draw you into conversation and you really enjoy listening and talking to them. And now you may be coming to the end of your yummy drink now, but when you glance down at your watch, you are amazed to see that this drink is coming to an end. Where did the time go? It feels as though you have done so much in this short space of time and you thoroughly enjoyed the conversation. Regretfully, it is time to go, but you feel that you have gained so much. Offer your thanks for their time. What will happen next? I'll let you decide. And leaving out through the door, you hear the bells ring as you leave, out in the fresh air again. Your mind is full as you think about how well your conversation went. And now that you have mentally rehearsed the successful conversation, it turned out much better than anticipated. In fact, it will be far better than you ever thought possible. And you will find yourself looking forward immensely to your next conversation. And these suggestions are firmly embedded in your subconscious mind and grow stronger and stronger day by day.